In this week's tutorial, we're going to show you how to save your field values of successive uses in your app. Um, we're going to do this in Mobile Nation using the Mobile Nation JavaScript widget, which will write some code to tie into the HTML5 local storage functionality. Uh, so local storage is a great feature of HTML5, and it lets you store arb arbitrary strings over successive sessions. And uh, you can store up to around 5 megabytes worth on an iPhone. So it's uh, somewhat akin to a cookie, only much, much bigger. Uh, so to get started, uh, what I'm going to do is create a blank iPhone app. And I'm just going to drop in uh, two text fields. Uh, I'm just going to use some arbitrary uh, field names. Uh, so let's pretend we've got two, two text fields we want to save the value of uh, multiple times as, as we open the app. So uh, I'm going to call this one uh, name. And I've got a second one here which I'm going to call uh, age. And so <clears throat> we'll also have a button which we'll call save. And what we want to do when we hit save is to dump the values that we have down here uh, into our into our HTML5 local storage. So uh, to do that we're going to actually write uh, a custom JavaScript function. So I'm just going to go along and drop in a JavaScript widget onto the stage of Mobile Nation and I'm going to start writing some code. So we're going to write a function called uh, save values and we're going to take two inputs. One of them is going to be our name and the other one is going to be our age. And so what we're going to do when we save values is say uh, window dot uh, local storage, uh, and we're going to use the set item uh, functionality. So I'll say set item, and we're going to for the key name we're going to use our name input argument, and likewise we're going to do the same thing for our age argument. So it's true in age and I'll use my, my age argument. And finally, I'm going to pop up an alert that says, for this argument's sake, uh, values saved. Okay, so if we now go along, we go to our save button, we're going to wire that straight up to our JavaScript. So when we touch down, we'll connect up here, and we're going to call our save values method. And you can see that's got two inputs which we're going to link up to our name text. And our age text. So if we go ahead and preview that app right now. Go ahead and run that just in our Chrome browser. We'll fill in some values. So I'll say my name is Ben, age is 26. I'll hit save. You can see the values are saved. Now let's go ahead and reload this, this application. And I'm just going to bring up a JavaScript console so you can see that those values have indeed been saved. So I'm just going to go to my tools, my JavaScript console, and I'm going to go ahead and say window.localStorage.getItem, okay. and we can see that that's been saved as Ben. Likewise, if we go with age, we can see that it saved that as 26. So what we want to do uh, with our app is to actually get these fields uh, repopulated when we actually load up this particular view. Uh, so we can do that in Mobile Nation uh, by using the Mobile Nation component API uh, in JavaScript and then wiring it up to a view load method. So we'll just go back to Mobile Nation and we'll go to our, our JavaScript and we're going to write a new function that goes ahead and restores these values. So the comma there, and I'm going to make a new function called store values. 
performs negative function without any input arguments. And so what we're going to do is we're initially we're going to say, okay, first and foremost, we need to know that, that, that this has been set by local storage in the first place. We'll say if window.localStorage.get uh, item name, if it's not null, then we're going to go ahead and do what we want to do. So let's go ahead and get that indented. And what we're going to do is just go ahead and set the values directly in the text field. So you can see that I've got default view slash name and default view slash age. So what I'm going to do is use my mobile nation API and I go mn.find default view slash name. And I'm wanting to set the text attribute equals window.localStorage.get item name. Fairly straightforward. And I'm going to do the same to set my age text parameters. mn.find default view slash age dot text equals window local storage dot get item age. And it's as simple as that, folks. Now all we need to do is wire up so that when we load our view, we call this restore values JavaScript function. Uh, so <clears throat> let's go to our default view. And we obviously have an action called loaded. And what we're going to do is just wire that straight down into our JavaScript. And we call the function restore values. So let's go ahead and preview that again. Uh, now the app will have the same URL, so we'll be able to access the previously saved values that we used. So I'll just reload this particular app. And you can see it's filled in those values. Let's just change my name to Harry and hit save. And if I go ahead and reload this page, you can see that they've been held. Thanks for watching, folks, and uh, look forward to presenting another demonstration next week.